Blessings family. Welcome to another video. This is Lady B. Why may I tell us uh, the other day I was talking about the submarine that went missing uh, at uh, the North, I mean the Pacific Ocean. I was going to say North Pacific, but I'm telling you guys, it is a very sad situation. Very, very sad situation. So right now I'm going to get into an article so we can, you know, hear some more of what went down you know it's very sad all right so so basically it was evident that the um no basically they said it was a implosion right now me never know say them have that thing going on an uh, implosion titanic submersible catastrophic implosion five persons who were aboard they lost their lives and uh, they said it possibly it's a possibility that it happened from sunday because i know they've been doing the searching and today is what tuesday wednesday today is thursday so it said that the five people aboard the so submissible that had been missing for days were K-I-L-L-E-D when the small vessel carrying to the Titanic wreckage site had a catastrophic implosion. Mm -mm. The Coast Guard said on Thursday, so based on debris and evidences that they have or that they gathered, that's what they came up with. I'm going to play this small video so you can hear some of what they must say. Oh, this not say nothing much. It's just I show the Titanic. All right, this not say nothing much. Anyway, so it said that the five people aboard the submersible that have been missing for days were K L L E D when the small vessel carrying them to the Titanic wreckage site had a catastrophic implosion. All right, members of the massive international search and effort found debris in the field in the general air of the Titanic earlier that day, earlier in the day, and was confirmed to contain parts of the Titan sub. So they're basically saying the parts that they saw, the debris that they found, is consistent with the catastrophic implosion of the vessel right rear admiral john mauger commander of the first coast guard district said in the news conference the debris was found about 600 1600 feet from the titanic bow on the sea floor mauger said adding that adding that it was too early to tell when the Titan imploded. So they are confirming that the Titan imploded, but they're not sure what time it happened. However, an anomaly the U.S. Navy detected Sunday was likely the small watercraft fatal blast, according to a senior military official. So they picked up the irregularity when the Navy went back and analyzed the acoustic data about the submersible, submersible was reported missing that day. So based on what the anomaly was, it was consistent with what would have been an implosion or an explosion in that general vicinity area of where the Titan submersible was operating and it was pretty much the same time communication was lost the navy shared the information with the coast guard but the data was not considered definitive and we can't understand that because once you don't have any specific information i guess they would definitely have to be searching for the debris or for evidences paul hankins the u.s navy director of salvage operations and ocean engineering said that the debris 
Phone Thursday indicated a catastrophic event. He said, he and Marger said it included a tall, a tail cone. Boy, look like me can't read today. <laughs> a tail cone, the end bell of the pressure hull and the aft end bell, which according to Hankins, basically comprised the totality of that pressure vessel. Some of the wonder say where the body them there. A 22 foot vehicle was in dive of the Titanic site when it lost contact with its support ship Sunday morning. Ocean Gate is the company that operated the Titan and the CEO Stockton Rush piloted the aircraft issued a statement saying the travelers have sadly been lost and they're basically saying they're grieving the loss of the family and joy that they brought to everyone they knew and the other four people believed to have been perished were Pakistani businessman and his son British adventurer and French deep sea explorer and the Titanic expert so basically the White House is saying that their hearts go out to the families and loved ones of those who lost their lives they've been through a harrowing ordeal over the past few days and are keeping them in our thoughts somebody wonder if then they go end up finding on part of the body the debris were found by a remotely operated vehicle associated with the canadian vessel horizon arctic that reached the seafloor began searching for the submissible every I mean, early Thursday, according to the Coast Guard, which said ROVs, which is a remotely operated vehicle. I wonder if it was unmanned. Which said ROVs will be used in continued investigation of what happened. The complex search and rescue missions attracted international attention and involved personnel from U.S., Canada, France, and the U.K., so another ROV associated with the French vessel, vessel Le Atlante, also deployed Thursday, the Coast Guard said. So ROV means remote operating, remote operated vehicle, remotely operated vehicle. So that's what they're going to be using from now on to continue search for any extra stuff. The accelerating search efforts came as an updated predictions by the Coast Guard, said the Titan. I say it sound like rain or fall. Said the Titan submissible was likely to run out of oxygen roughly about 7 a.m. So, based on my understanding, it actually imploded even before it ran out of oxygen. Experts have noted that the estimates are imprecise and in the end, running out of oxygen was not the biggest problem. Oh my, it is such a sad situation. Let me see if this are nothing, this have no sound. Keep at no man. So the Coast Guard said the debris was found near the Titanic um, in search. That's where the debris was found. Wife of Ocean Gate CEO descended from Titanic victims. The wife of Ocean Gate CEO is descended from victims of the Titanic wreck of 1912. Genealogical records suggest.
Mm -mm. This is so sad, guys. Rescue crews on rescue crews on Thursday had faced wind gusts up to 19 miles per hour and ocean swells up to five feet, with air temperature 50 degrees Fahrenheit, according to the Coast Guard. The U.S. Navy said Wednesday afternoon that a special deep water salvage system capable of hoisting up to 660,000 pounds had reached St. John's, Canada, and could be used to lift the Titan to the surface. Though it may not be ready for another 24 hours, the Titan weighs 23,000 pounds according to the Ocean Gate website. Now they're saying at least 46 people successfully traveled on Ocean Gate submersible to the Titanic wreck site in 2021 and 2022 according to letters the company filed with u.s district court in virginia on the first dive to the titanic the submersible encountered a battery issue and had to be manually attached to its lifting platform one filing says in the high sea state the submersible sustained modest damage to its external components and Ocean Gate decided to cancel the second mission for repairs and operational enhancement. A retired businessman from Germany took a dive to the site years ago, two years ago, and he said, imagine a metal tube a few meters long with a sheet of metal for a floor. You can't stand, you can't kneel. Everyone is sitting close to or on top of each other. You can't be claustrophobic. He said during the 2.4 hour descend and ascend, the lights were turned off to conserve energy. The only elimination coming from a fluorescent glow stick. The dive was repeatedly delayed to fix a problem with the battery and the balancing weights. In total, the voyage took 10.5 hours. Uh, another one said aircraft detected underwater noises in the search area on Tuesday and Wednesday, prompting officials to redirect rescue efforts. We don't know what they are. The good news is we're searching in the area where the noises were detected. Anyway. Who are the passengers? Stockton Rush, 61, CEO of Ocean Gate, who found the company. Paul Henry Nargolet, 73, a French maritime explorer and director of the underwater research program at Premier Exhibitions, RMS Titanic Incorporation. Hamish Harding, 58, a British ex explorer, private jet dealer, and chairman of Action Aviation, a global sales company in business aviation. Shazada Daywood, 48, a member of one of Palestine's most prominent families. Solomon Daywood, 19, son of Shazada Daywood. Yes, guys, so we want to say condolences to the family. And, um, you know, I was a bit concerned when they said that machine that is going to submerge is run by or is, is um, operated by a remote control, a game remote control. Lur. gaming remote controller a game controller and the controller is wi-fi allegedly not sure how true that is also they said that no not also they said also i know that the wi-fi i mean the controller basically they say is operated by wi-fi so i mean i know 
let's just say condolences to the family and uh, you know it is sad thank you guys for listening <laughs>